Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. The F-16 Fighting Falcon, often known as the F-16, epitomizes innovation and excellence in modern aviation. Developed by General Dynamics Corporation, now part of Lockheed Martin, the F-16 traces its origins to a 1972 order for an agile, cost-effective air-to-air fighter. Evolving into a versatile aircraft serving not just the United States, but also over a dozen other nations, this fighter excels in all weather and ground attack roles. Taking flight in 1978 when delivered to the U.S. Air Force, the F-16 stands as an icon in world military aviation. With its sleek 49-foot frame and 31-foot wingspan, this single-seat, single-engine jet fighter showcases incredible power. Propelled by a robust Pratt & Whitney or General Electric turbofan engine, it produces a staggering 23,000 to 29,000 pounds of thrust with afterburning, pushing it to speeds exceeding twice the sound barrier. F-16's design is a masterclass in aerodynamics. Its fuselage flares at a juncture with aluminum alloy wings. enhancing lift and stability, especially during steep angles of attack. A sophisticated computerized fly-by-wire stabilization system continuously directs control surfaces. In contrast, a cutting-edge heads-up display system projects vital flight and combat data onto a transparent screen before the pilot. The F-16 Fighting Falcon has been embraced worldwide. It's been built under license in Belgium, Netherlands, Turkey, and South Korea and serves as the foundation for Japan's FSX fighter. Trusted by U.S. allies in the Middle East, it demonstrated its prowess in air-to-air -air combat and ground attack in the Israel-Syrian conflict of 1982 and the Persian Gulf War of 1990 and 1991. As of April 23, 2022, a new chapter in F-16's legacy unfolded in Greenville, South Carolina. Here, a cutting-edge production line commenced the assembly of F-16 Block 70 aircraft, marking a pivotal moment in its ongoing evolution. These aircraft equipped with various modifications are designed to remain competitive on a global stage. Among the notable enhancements is a state-of-the-art radar system, poised to redefine F-16's capabilities. The aircraft's airframe is primarily composed of sheet metal, with standard aluminum alloy constituting approximately 80% of the airframe structure. This robust construction not only underscores the F-16's durability, but also its continued relevance in modern aviation. To stay at the forefront of modern combat and maintain its competitive edge, the F-16 has undergone significant updates in various key areas. These modifications encompass critical aspects such as the electronic warfare system, radar system, and mission computer. 
collectively enhancing its capabilities in the ever-evolving landscape of aerial warfare. These updates are not just incremental improvements. They represent a significant leap forward in the aircraft's mission readiness and effectiveness. Let's dive deeper into these transformative improvements. At the Cutting Edge Greenville production facility, Lockheed Martin boasts an impressive array of capabilities. Here, they are equipped to perform modifications, midlife upgrades, part fabrication, and assembly of new aircraft. This facility serves as a hub for innovation, ensuring that the F-16 remains at the forefront of technological advancements in aviation. Much like the F-16, the F-35A finds its place in the Air Force plant. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II family comprises single-seat, single-engine, all-weather stealth multi-role combat aircraft designed for air superiority, strike missions, electronic warfare and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities. Lockheed Martin leads the F-35 program with principal partners Northrop Grumman and BAE Systems. This versatile aircraft features three main variants. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, short takeoff and vertical landing F-35B, and carrier-based F-35C. The F-35 emerged from the Joint Strike Fighter program, consolidating various combat aircraft initiatives from the 1980s and 1990s. One of its antecedent programs, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency Advanced Short Takeoff Vertical Landing Initiative, aimed to develop a replacement for the Harrier jump jet for the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.K. Royal Navy. Lockheed Skunk Works conducted research for a stealthy supersonic STOVL fighter as part of this program. Exploring technologies like a shaft-driven lift fan system, ASTOVL later became the common affordable lightweight fighter involving Lockheed, McDonnell Douglas, and Boeing. In the realm of F-35 manufacturing, the Lockheed Martin Plant 4 facility has stood as a cornerstone of aviation history since its establishment in 1942, producing iconic aircraft like the B-24 Liberator during World War II. Over the years, this plant has continued to be a hub of innovation, giving rise to advanced aircraft such as the F-16 and F-35. With a workforce of over 16,000 highly skilled employees, Plant 4 boasts an impressive output, churning out more than 130 F-35 aircraft in a single year. The assembly process of the F-35 is nothing short of intricate. It involves a multitude of operations and assembly of a wide variety of parts, making precision and efficiency paramount. To streamline this complex process and enhance operator productivity, Lockheed Martin harnesses cutting-edge projection system technology called FILS. Projection technology is 
optimally suited for aerospace because aerospace assembly operations often involve a large number of operations over a large area, often on an aircraft skin which serves as an ideal canvas for projected work instructions. This advanced system projects the workflow directly onto the aircraft, providing operators with invaluable visual guidance and simplifying the intricate task at hand. On the left hand screen we have manuscript that is the uh, environment in which a mechanical engineer would author the work instructions for the projection work system. Um, on the right hand screen is assembly works operator to access the work instructions. Whatever's highlighted here ends up being projected onto the aircraft and you can see there's a number of different uh, colors and then on the right hand side we publish a legend that describes what those shapes and colors represent. While Northrop Grumman is a prominent player in the assembly of advanced aircraft, it's important to note that several other notable companies are contributing to this field. Among these, one iconic aircraft that stands out is the Eurofighter Typhoon, developed by BAE Systems. This formidable aircraft represents a collaborative effort and showcases the prowess of multiple nations in the pursuit of excellence in aviation technology. Production of the Eurofighter Typhoon involves a remarkable global collaboration, engaging over 400 companies and generating roughly 100,000 jobs. Work on its airframe is distributed among partner companies with final assembly occurring in various locations to cater to specific air forces. In the United Kingdom, Royal Air Force, Royal Saudi Air Force and Oman, these aircraft take shape, while Germany handles the German Air Force and Austrian Air Force variants. Italy plays a central role in producing typhoons for the Italian Air Force and Kuwait while Spain oversees assembly for its own air forces. This extensive network underscores Typhoon status as a truly global endeavor. This exceptional aircraft is powered by two Eurojet EJ200 turbofans each boasting an impressive thrust of 20,000 pounds with afterburning. Its capabilities extend to a maximum speed of Mach 1.8 and a remarkable maximum altitude of 55,000 feet. Turning our attention to Saab JAS-39, Gripen translate to the Griffin in English. This remarkable light single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft is a creation of the esteemed Swedish aerospace and defense company Saab AB. Gripen boasts a distinctive delta wing and canard configuration, coupled with a relaxed stability design and precise fly-by-wire flight controls. Moreover, Later iterations of this aircraft are fully NATO interoperable, enhancing its versatility on the global stage. As of 2020, over 271 Gripens of all models from A to F have taken flight. The Gripens journey began in the late 1970s when Sweden sought to replace its aging Saab 35 Draken and Saab 37 Viggen aircraft. Swedish Air Force's quest was to acquire an affordable Mach 2 aircraft with exceptional short field performance, designed to support a defensive dispersed basing plan in case of an invasion. An essential goal was to develop an aircraft smaller than the Viggen, while matching or surpassing its payload range capabilities. Extensive research also considered foreign designs, including General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon, McDonnell Douglas F-A-18 Hornet, Northrop F-20 Tiger Shark, and Dassault Mirage 2000. Ultimately, the Swedish government decided to entrust Saab with developing a new fighter, 
setting the stage for Gripen's impressive legacy. From the agile F-16 Fighting Falcon, which has been a stalwart in Air Forces worldwide, to the state-of-the-art F-35 Lightning II, a symbol of technological supremacy, and versatile Eurofighter Typhoon, a multinational marvel. These aircraft not only represent the pinnacle of engineering and design, but also the dedication of countless individuals and companies who have worked tirelessly to push the boundaries of what's possible in the skies. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.